Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what's good everybody? I've just realised. Is that going to be dark now? You're going to have to handle it. Yes, what's good everybody? You know what time it is. We're not down round here. Sunday afternoon. Upload on the incoming. Got a couple of quick shout outs to do. Uh, Mr P gets another shout out. He got a shout out in the last video, but he gets another shout out. He's my first ever member. Andy sent me a super chat for shouting him out. So I'm not doing it for another super chat, Mr. P. So don't feel as though you have to send another, but I'm just expressing my appreciation towards you. Also, I've got a shout out to do for Damien, who I bumped into in Weatherby. And uh, he's asked for a special mention for the biggest Leeds fan that he knows. And that is his dog, Baxter. So yes, shout out to Damien, his dog, Baxter, and Mr. P. But you know what time it is. Get that badger. In and on and over here. We're in, we're on, we're over, we're here. It's Easter Sunday. Nobody's down round here. Watford is what it is. Cooper getting a lot of the shit for it. We were really poor. I've been saying not to break that back too for forever, ever since we've been on this run. I just don't understand. I'd, I'd do pretty much anything else to keep them two together till end of the season. But I don't think that makes it Cooper's fault. We were shit in first half. Somerville brought up, pulled up some out of bag, which is... What you want your main players to do going forward, don't it? Like big moments like that. Yeah, Cooper does get done for Edda for second goal, and then he does get beaten, you know, pretty much immediately after. But what I will say, and I don't care what everybody says on Twitter and all the shit I'll get for it, which will tie in something else I'm about to talk about. But he's also not played a lot of football, and uh, you know, he's come back in and he's of, of an age where you know he could do with playing a little bit more than he has done. And he's been thrust back in. They were looking to put it on him quite a bit with Watford. I thought they got the tactics bang on, really. I thought they were quite effective. They were putting it on Byram in air, putting it on Cooper a lot in air. Had that big gadge up top who was strong. So, yeah, it was effective. I agree with Faki. Faki Faka's assessment uh, and away point against the team that have the tails up, which is very true, you know. Cleverly seems to be, they seem to be all pals, don't they? And he seems to be getting a bit of a tune out of them right here, right now. Is what it is. Got Hull next tomorrow, which I'll be going to. If we beat them, all will be forgotten. Ultimately, we are second in the table. Leicester play Norwich before us at half 12. Um, so we will know where we're at, you know, because it is getting it's getting pretty pretty tight up the top of the table. It's uh, getting intense. So we're on 39 games. Ipswich are on 39 games. We've got 83 points. They've got 84 points. Leicester are on 38 games and got 82 points it's it's right in the balance Ipswich and Southampton are to play each other um it's getting intense I still feel as though we're going up um I still feel as though we're going up as champions Ipswich have got a really hard running they are currently top I still actually think it'll be us and Leicester at this point initially I was thinking that Ipswich might do it and then I looked at their running um and I, I actually think they've, they're, they're proper up against it so I do think it's it's a sh it's a shootout, a shootout, a fucking shootout. So yes, um, I want to. Uh, is anybody about at game tomorrow as well? I'll be sat in just George's seat again. So I'll be in the cop at the front on my lonesome. But I'm gonna go have a few bevies. It's not till eight o'clock at night, so I might get out a bit early. Although I am at a, I'm DJing at a house party today at four until. Probably about 10 and then I'm off to go DJ and everybody's in Geisley. If anybody's about in Geisley, sometimes bump into a few Leeds fans. Yes. Um, so that will be a late, heavy night. I've not been drinking this weekend though, so I have been saving myself for today. For everybody that worries about my health and my mental health, that just think that I go bar me every single night at week, which isn't necessarily true. But uh, I do like a beer once I've had one. Let's put it that way. Phillips. Calvin Phillips, I'm sure everybody's seen the clip. I was toying with uploading the clip, but I don't want to be part of the uploads that just upload in the clips. I've had a bit of a laugh on Twitter yesterday trying to get a few rises, but I can't get made around this stuff, me. Uh, try and work it out sort of as I go. Um, man sticks his finger up at rude man, which is what I put on Twitter, or utterly useless man calls athlete useless, or... Utterly useless man calls athlete useless. Athlete calls utterly useless. At no. Utterly useless man calls athlete useless. 
athlete sticks finger up at utterly useless man. Nothing has happened, boys and girls. 15, 20 years ago, they, nobody give a shit about any of this stuff. I don't get it. Truly don't get it. There's, I know Alan Smith, um, I mean, you just don't know whether your mates are lying, but you know, if they'd have got him on film, he'd have been coming out at a swimming pool and uh, he bumped into him and he like, shouted him. Apparently, he, t- he said Alan Smith told him to fuck off and this was while they were at Leeds and everybody loved him. So, you know, it's a story. Who cares? The, the man's utterly useless. He's playing for West Ham. All I will say is everybody's weighing in, aren't they? Saying, oh, Phillips, Phillips. Like, all, now every, every Leeds fan's so keen to defend him when they were the ones that had threw him under the bus before Bielsa got here, then threw him under the bus and laughed at him afterwards. Then the same people that abuse Cooper every single time he plays a game of football for us, even though he's stuck with us. Phillips had an opportunity to go make an ungodly amount of money. You, you can't write it. They're the same people where well, you can write it because some people do. So I do better, some people. But yeah, I'm up for defending Phillips. I just don't. I just think everybody should sh- stop tweeting it. It's going viral due to the fact that Leeds fans are tweeting it. I don't think anybody else cares. Basically, it's total bollocks. It's not even news. Fucking grow up. Call me useless when I'm getting on a stinky bus. I know you won't get on a stinky bus, but if I'm getting on a local shit bus, I hate buses. Call me useless and I'll stick my finger up. He can do whatever he wants. There was no physical interaction whatsoever. Nobody was harmed. Grow up. Keep off social media with it unless you can have a sense of humour about it and take a joke. Who cares? Not me. Phillips, you're more than welcome back for me. Everybody keeps going on about the right price. It's not going to cost me a penny, but I appreciate that it does have to come across, you know, and we do have to be sensible about things. But he's having a really rough time, isn't he? Also, everybody will start pissing and whinging about his mental health. All he has to do, really, and I hope he does neither of these two things, but all he has to do is say, I'm either really sad, I'm depressed, I've got mental health issues, or I'm under a lot of pressure and and all this, you know. That's all he has to say. Or the fifth option, or I don't know how many I mentioned then, is he apologises, and I really, really hope he doesn't apologise. Stick your finger up, man. Who cares? Let's go! Boom. Surprises why I asked.